Hi, it's me again. Um, back with a little demonstration of the latest installment into my 2001 330i BMW sedan. Uh, I took out the old wiper stock, which was this, um, that came standard in all um, 3 series, um, E46 3 series. Um, this just had, my car has rain sensor, um, a rain sensor windshield that turns on the wiper blades automatically. And this pretty much took out of the car and put this one in. Um, I bought this online off eBay from a seller in Europe. Um, I think some European 3 Series comes with, come with this. Some US um, wagon, E46 wagon, come with this that have wiper blades on the back windshield. Um, the US X5 and 5 Series M5 come with this um, S-Function um, wiper stock. The S-Function basically what it does, it works in conjunction with your rain sensor windshield. When the windshield detects um, fluid, I guess like rain on the windshield, it turns on the wiper blade automatically um, and you preset it to do that um, through this button here, putting it up in one position like that. What the S button does is like when you set the rain sensor to come on automatically, you push S in once and what S does is every 5 or 10 minute intervals of your windshield um, your windshield wipers you know going in either rainstorm or you're driving on dirty road and the windshield detects um, rain or uh, fluid on your windshield it would wash your windshield so I'll just demonstrate it real quick so it's not raining today it's a sunny day um, you push that in I set my windshield to set um, and or as the windshield wipers are going, say five minutes goes by, it'll just automatically wash your windshield. That's what the S function does. If you have uh, headlight, uh, headlamp washers, it also activate those as well um, with the um, wiper blades. Um, and S button, it's you know it's pretty cool. You push it in like that. It works similar to the OBC button on this side. So and that's what I did. Um, right now, when you put this in your car, you have to make sure pin 10 on this thing is wired because the S function um, stock comes with an extra um, it comes with its own harness and pin 10 has its own a wire coming out of it a black and gray wire um, and that's all you you know you really need um, these stocks um, the function is inside the body of the stock so basically your car should be pre-wired to accept it just like when you add an OBC stock to a car that doesn't have the OBC button, the BC button, it works the same way. So you just have to add the stock um, and make make sure your car has pin 10 wired for the stock. My car came with it, so I just plugged it into the stock. Or I took that extra pin wire and connected it to the stock from the car. Um, if you have headlight head, headlamp washers, you may need to. Um, I don't have headlamp washers in my car, so there may be an extra pin. I think it's pin five or pin 6 for your car to make sure the pin connects into that but if your car came with headlamp washers the S function button will work will make that work as well um, so that's it I paid I paid about $25 for the stock and it was about $5 to ship from London it took a week to come um, so uh, no complaints it works I'm very happy with it um, it's the middle of August I plan on doing a road trip coming up soon and I guess with you know, driving through a summer road with rain and bugs and bugs and all that in your windshield, it's kind of cool to have this um, to make sure your windshield is clean. Um, I don't really use my washer fluid to clean my windshield that often, but um, if I could do it, if I could have the function to do it automatically with the rain sensor wiper blades, um, like I don't turn my wiper blades on, I always have it set to automatic um, automatic mode. So if I could have the windshield washed in automatic mode. Um, you know, I don't really mind. And it only cost me $25 to add this function to my car. Um, it's not super expensive. Super expensive. So I'm very happy with it. So far I'm going to take the car out on the road to test drive it. Um, installation of this requires you removing the steering wheel. And to do that, you have to unplug the battery because of the airbag. Um, once you remove the steering wheel, you just have to like um, lift this up. 
and just pull that out it comes right out um, of the slip rings um, slip ring switch um, center and putting in a new one is really easy it took me about um, 10 minutes 10 to 20 minutes to do this and I'm on the side of the street my car is even parked in the garage because um, it's really hot inside so um, I just decided to do this in the street um, so no complaints um, I'm doing that it you know adds something ex extra to the car um, so I'm pretty happy with it